and I feel like I'm holding my hand in a very strange claw type shape. I'm kind of new to the whole like, you know, creepy looking sheet mask thing. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got November favorites here for you today and as always, I've got way too many things to talk about. I'm gonna blow through my overall Friday favorites and then I've got some really good skincare things that I wanna talk to you guys about because several of you guys have been commenting on my skin um, in videos in the last, like about in the last month or so. So I wanted to mention like the foundation I've been wearing the most and then the skincare that I've been doing specifically in the last month, month and a half or so. So I wanna talk about those. I have some fashion favorites and some random makeup-y things. So yeah, just a lot to talk about. So let's jump into it. So for overall Friday favorites, I love my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I don't like the creepy names that several of you guys pointed out to me. So that kind of freaks me out a little bit, but I love the palette itself. It's such nice quality and they just blend beautifully. I'm wearing them on my eyes today with my Makeup Geek Duo Chromes. I'm obsessed with these. I can't stop using them. The shadows, the pigments, all of the above. I love them. I have a review video, but I'm like adding to even since that review video, I've gotten more because I love them so much. So really, I would just recommend them across the board. They're amazing. For blush, I love these two cheek products from the Merle Norman Winter Collection. They are so pretty. They blend like a dream. I have them swatched on my Instagram blog in the Friday favorites that I mentioned them. They're awesome. And then this is like a I will love you forever type of a blush. This is Chanel's Jersey and it is just like, I mean a gorgeous everyday color. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. It's like a no brainer and it blends beautifully. It wears really beautifully. It's just awesome. And I feel like if you're going to like dip your toe into some fancy high-end blushes or Chanel in general, I think this is a great first step because it's one of those you're gonna get use out of it. So it's not like you buy, I don't even know how much these cost because Ashley gave this to me, but it's not like you buy a really expensive blush and then it's just gonna sit there because it's not a color that's as easy to use with other things. This is a go with everything. You're gonna get use out of it. It's amazing. And then for lips, I love my Too Faced Melted Fig. This is just a gorgeous, mauve fig type of a color. I mean, fig, melted fig fits it. It really does. And then Maybelline's Lust for Blush, just a gorgeous kind of pinky mauve. It's more on the pinky side than melted fig. And then Buxom Sinful Cinnamon. I'm wearing it today. It's just beautiful. It's like a gorgeous, 90s brownie nude. I love it. Really like the formula too. And I've had this little sample of this Buxom mascara for a long time and I just finally started using it, I don't know, in the last month or month and a half or so. Maybe I've grabbed for it once or twice before that, but I really fell in love with it this month. And it just says Lash Mascara on the back of it. I don't know if that's actually the name of it, but I'll list it and link it down below for you. But it is an awesome mascara. I mean, it gives you volume, but really good length too. I feel like a lot of times super volumizing mascaras don't always give the best length also, but I feel like this one does both really, really well. And especially length. Like I just noticed when I wear this mascara, I can like see the tips of my lashes more. I've got it on my lashes today and it's just awesome. It will, smudge on me a little bit when it's kind of setting. Like if I apply it and then open my eyes real big or something, it will <laughs> smudge up on my eyelid a little bit. Um, but really I don't notice a ton of smudging like later in the day. It's very, very little, if any, some days I don't notice any. So I think it's awesome. This is just a little sample size, but I would like the larger size. And I feel like I'm holding my hand in a very strange claw type shape. So the foundation that I've been wearing this month. I've been grabbing for my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I wear it in 102 Shell Beige. Sometimes I grab 101 and we'll put that kind of in my T-zone too. But I love this foundation. I've mentioned it before on my channel so you guys have heard me talk about it. It's just a beautiful demi-matte look on the skin. But what I've been doing differently is I've been using my Real Techniques sponge. Mine is all kinds of disgusting looking right now and I'm destroying it. So that's kind of a bummer. But I love these together because the only kind of, not even really negative of this one, but 
something about the formula of it is that it can kind of get on like the powdery side because it's more of a mattifying foundation, which a lot of them get that way, where when you use it with a beauty blender or a, you know, a dampened sponge, it really helps to like meld it in with your skin. So it doesn't kind of sit on top as much. It really just becomes part of your skin. It really makes a beautiful finish. So I love this application technique. I love this foundation in general, but with this application technique, it's like even more magical. Okay, so skincare. So I've got some things that I have really been enjoying this month and I do feel like they're making a difference on my skin. And I've been really consistent about these specific products, two of them that I'm gonna mention to you. But this one, this was just kind of a random that I used at one time and I was like, whoa, I got this little sheet mask thingy in, sheet mask thingy, that's its technical term, in like a subscription box, one of them, I can't remember which one, but I really like it. This is the Bio Republic Aloe Rescue Revitalizing Fiber Mask and it says with vitamin E for all skin types. So I use this one night and let it sit on my skin. It feels really hydrating and it's aloe. So it's just very like, makes your skin happy. But when I removed it and kind of rubbed the product into my skin, my skin looked like so smooth, so hydrated, but not greasy. I was just really impressed with how this felt on my skin and how it made my skin look. So I would definitely purchase more of these. I was looking on their website and I signed up like, you know, like you can sign up for their email and get a coupon. Um, and I think they're around $5 a mask or something, but I really love this one. I've used a couple of them from this line, but this is the one that I was really impressed with. So yeah, I'm kind of new to the whole like, you know, creepy looking sheet mask thing, but I really do like it. And I think it's kind of like a fun experience. And this one is a really nice one. And then I was sent quite a few skincare things from this line. I've never heard of this before. I've probably been living under a rock or something, but it's by GM Colin. And this is one of the specific things that I have been loving. I've used this and also the eye contour. I really like the eye contour. It's a great eye cream, but this one I feel like is like the one that I'm loving the most. This is the Age Total Defense Antioxidants Plus Peptides. And what does it say about it? It says, a moisturizer formulated with eight antioxidants and five peptides, visibly reduces the appearance of signs of aging, brightens and evens out skin tone. Yes, and I feel like it's absolutely doing that. Just really helping the texture of my skin and also just, you know, when you, like I'm to the point where I'm starting to get some little fine lines and just sort of the texture of my skin is changing a little bit, which then creates those fine lines. So if I can kind of like use something on my skin that sort of, I'm doing this cause it's like, your skin almost starts to have little bumps and whatever in it, you know what I mean? So if you can get something that really helps to plump it up and even out that texture, it really helps to minimize those fine lines and just, the bumps in your skin. I don't know how else to describe it, but I really do feel like this has helped the texture of my skin, has really helped with like flattening out those, I mean, I don't have significant fine lines or anything yet, but I do have the beginnings of them. And I can tell the nights that I've used this, I've used this actually almost every single night. I've maybe skipped like two and switched to something else, but I could always tell the next morning when I would use this that my skin would just look hydrated, smoothed out, and that the texture was just better. And then I've also been using my Murad Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. This says 2% Hydroquinone Skin Lightener. And it just says massage evenly over clean face, neck, and chest. Follow with a Murad Step 3 Moisturizer. So actually what I've been doing this is so random, I don't know if I mentioned this to you before, but I have one like discoloration spot on this side and one discoloration spot on this side of my face. So they're like evenly matched on both cheeks. Is that not the weirdest thing ever? And it's like, I guess it's an acne scar or something. For some reason, my skin doesn't like handle discoloration in these two spots very well. So I've just been specifically concentrating this on those two spots and I do notice a difference. It's not like they're completely gone. It's not like that, but it is lightening them. So if you've got something that's this size and you're using it in like little targeted areas, 
you're gonna have this for a long time. So I like that about it. I mean, I'm gonna keep using this kind of in spots. I mean, they recommend you could use it all over and it's really gonna, you know, lighten those pigmentation issues that you have, I guess, anywhere on your neck and decollete as well. But I'm just kind of using it in those little specific spots and I definitely notice a difference. Okay, for a hair care favorite, I went back to my Not Your Mother's Whip It Up Cream Styling Mousse. It says, for all hair types, builds body, thickens strands, tames frizz, non-sticky. So I had originally bought this specifically for the name and the smell because it says on the back, um, let's see. I mean, it just sounds amazing. Does dreaming of vanilla bean creme brulee leave you weak in the knees? Then Whip It Up will definitely have you believing in sugar plum fairies. This delicious vanilla cupcake scented mousse is rich in moisturizers to tame those frizzies as well as body bodybuilding volumizers for big hair dreams. It may smell sugary sweet, but this salon formula styling mousse won't leave your fingers or your hair sticky. So I bought it because it said vanilla cupcake scented, and I'm all about that, and it definitely smells like that. But it's funny, once I used one of these up and then switched to another mousse, I was like, ooh, I really noticed a difference in just the way my hair felt, like the texture of my hair, but also how it held style. I really feel like this works. Like as a mousse, I feel like it works really well and it smells stinking amazing, which is kind of a funny phrase. Smells stinking amazing. Yes, it's really good. <laughs> it just smells yummy. It makes your hair feel nice and it really does help hold the style really, really well. And then some fashion favorites. So I had wanted some over the knee boots, but I didn't necessarily want any with a heel on them because over the knee boots are kind of already a statement shoe and then you add a heel to them and it's even more of a statement. So I kind of wanted flats. So I bought one pair at DSW, brought them home, tried them on, you know, just like with a dress and they hit it a really, I don't know why I'm telling you this. You don't need to know this. You need to know about this pair, but it's kind of interesting. It's the backstory. So I tried them on and they hit like a really weird spot, like honestly right below my kneecap. So it's almost like they were like kneecap holders is what it looked like. So those were a no. So I brought those back, didn't want kneecap holding boots. So I got these instead. These are by the brand Unisa, U-N-I-S-A. And they're just like basic black faux suede over the knee boots and they're adorable. They're really comfortable. They feel nice. Um, I think I have a picture on my Instagram wearing them, I think. And I know I've shown them on Snapchat for sure, but they just got a really cute tie on the back. It's not really very functional, but it's cute looking. And yeah, I just really like them. I think they're adorable. I had a $20 off coupon, so that really helped. Um, and I just feel like they're what I was looking for, so I really like these. And then I love these little booties from Kohl's. These are by Jennifer Lopez. So I've been looking for a pair of little black booties like this because I had a pair from several years ago. They're cute, but they're tall and they're really uncomfortable. So I've been looking for a pair to replace those and found these and I'm just loving them. Um, I really like the little like faux snakeskin wrap around with the little like studded detail. And then this one's kind of like blingy and then this has got the little like buckle there. So it's kind of like girly plus sort of edgy rocker, which is definitely my style. I tend to go for either girly or sort of that rocker edgy kind of a fashion look. And honestly, I like like the, you know, mix of the two, like wearing lace with like, you know, a, a leather jacket or something like that. Like the, the edgy with the sweet, I think is really cute. So I feel like these boots kind of have that vibe to them. And they're really comfortable. That It's a good heel height. So they're cute, but still really comfortable to wear. So I love these. And then some jewelry pieces. These are all from craft fairs. You guys know, I love arts and craft fairs and I love going and looking for handmade things in general, but especially jewelry. I just feel like there's something so much better about handmade, unique jewelry. It's so cool. A lot of times you get to meet the artist too, which is really fun. So I'm loving all these things. So first this little wrap bracelet, it's got like different kinds of beads and then you can wrap it in different ways and it just looks really cool. I love that it's got like the black kind of, um, you know, the main color is black. I really like that. If I can find any of these artists, either um, Etsy pages or websites or something, I'll link them down below for you. 
This one I know for sure is by Jamelli Jewelry. Now I got this on like a mega sale. It was way less expensive at the craft show, but it's still really pretty. So, you know, if you invest in your jewelry, in your jewelry a little bit more, then I think these are definitely worth it. Or if you can find them at a craft fair in your area. So anyway, just a really cool druzy, however you say that word, necklace with some really cool beading things and all of these were different, so I love that. No two were the same. And then this one that I'm wearing, I think is amazing. It's, it looks like this. Let me see if I can get it where you can see it. Looks like this and it, you can see the bar going through the middle of it and it's kind of like glittery and then it's got the tassel hanging behind it. I love this so much. I love the glitter with the gray, with the black, with the bar going through it. It's just the tassel, all things are amazing about all these pieces, so love them. All right guys, so that wraps up my November favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and as always, let me know down below what you have been loving this month. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!